Okay, another street view video because you like the street views, eh? Chiang Mai Thai video reporting for you, you sure? Chiang Mai Thai video reporting for you from the Chitty. It's a street view video, eh? You like the street view videos? So it's a street view video but without the background noise yes the background noise was overwhelming so we have to uh, do something else with the sound yes we can add some music and we will add some music but it will be some background music no what we do today with this street view we're gonna talk about uh, life in Chiang Mai uh, now, June 2022, live in Thailand. Can you come to Thailand, June 2022? Yes, of course you can come to Thailand. You can come. Uh, many, many moons already. But now it's getting more easy. It's getting more easy every time. Um, because the rules are getting looser every time. First you have to do quarantine, then the quarantine was getting uh, less long, and then the quarantine was completely skipped for vaccinated people. Then you have a limited quarantine for unvaccinated people. Now, the situation now, June 2022, is you only have to do a PCR test before you come yes you can do a pcr set test uh, when you arrive but that's not uh, that smart because then you have to wait for the result in some facility hotel so you take your pcr test before you travel and if it's okay you can have access to thailand with your thailand pass because the thailand pass is still effective it's uh, an app it's an app on your phone and it registrate your uh, your vaccination status and your uh, uh, test status if you need a test then your test status is in the thailand pass also there are requirements for your uh, insurance yes you already need an insurance for traveling but now you need an extra insurance for health and then you say oh i already have an insurance for health in my home country yes but it has to be uh, specific there are some uh, specific rules and it has to say you are uh, uh, they will pay when it's uh, about covid for uh, some amount some amount and it, it, the amount is changing all the time and the amount is getting lower all the time as well but I remember for myself I went in November 2021 and then uh, there were still restrictions for unvaccinated people so I did go into uh, quarantine uh, but there were the, the insurance it was not a problem it was yes you have to pay for it but the, the amount was not that big. so and now the requirements for those uh, for those uh, uh, insurance they are lowered so the amount will be even lower that should not be a problem. If you can travel to Thailand, if you have the money to travel to Thailand, you have the money to pay your insurance as well. So get your Thailand pass, and I see on the internet uh, people bragging about uh, getting their Thailand pass uh, within hours. Within hours. Maybe it, for you it takes a day or a day and a half, but it's not that big a problem. Uh, then you can arrive in Thailand with your 30 day visa exemption or you if you want to stay longer you will ask for a visa in your home country you can ask for a tourist visa for example for 60 days so that's that's completely no problem coming into thailand everybody can come okay it's low season they say it's uh, the rainy season uh, i didn't see that much rain if this is rainy season it's 
Now, it's named uh, completely wrong because there is, there is some rain sometime, but then uh, in Holland we have rainy season uh, all year long. No, but yeah, traditionally it's low season, people don't travel to Thailand in this months in June, July, in summertime. In summertime they mostly go to other places around the world. Uh, people are going to Thailand when it's winter in the rest of the world, then you can uh, encounter here nice weather. But it's not all about the weather, it's about the culture, it's about uh, everything you can see, everything you can experience here in Thailand. That's why you come to Thailand and that's why you should come now. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you later.